Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, 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 yes, it does. Mm. Oh, yes, it does. Mm. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Does, does. <laughs> Welcome to Big On Healing. My name is Mpomo Gwena and I'm very big on holistic healing, which is the integrated healing of your body, mind, spirit, as well as your emotions. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite pastime reflection activity, which is very convenient if you've struggled with journaling before. And before we get into today's video, I just like to say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who liked my previous video and everyone who has shared it on their social media platforms, as well as to their family and their friends. Thank you, thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel as well. And if you haven't subscribed, don't you worry, you still have enough time. Please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Turn that red subscribe button into gray. I would like to do a giveaway. I know people might say, isn't it a bit too early to do a giveaway? Never too early to be a gift to someone and therefore it's never too early to give a gift. So watch till the end of the video to get the giveaway details. So let's get into today's video. I used to write a lot of letters when I was younger and notes. I always used to get into trouble for writing notes with my mom. Like she'd be going through my books and my bag and she'd be finding notes and... <laughs> Baby! I done told you, you can't come out. You <laughs> As I got older, I've seen that I just redirected the energy into something positive for me. I've tried journaling a couple of times and it, it, I've never been consistent with it. But with making notes and writing letters whenever I feel like I want to do it, whether it's on my phone or it's just on a piece of paper, a napkin, whatever, I feel compelled to write or draw or share with myself and that time I'd do it. So writing notes and letters when you feel compelled to do so, it's an amazing way for you to still self-reflect. The first benefit is that it's convenient. You can write notes on your phone, you can write the letters on a piece of paper, you can write the letters on your phone as well, you can write it on a napkin, you can write it, you can write it on anything you have access to at that time. You can write it on a hand on your hand. Take a picture of it and then save it for later. Because it's very important to write down your thoughts. It's your intuition screaming at you saying do this do this and i don't know how many times i've written stuff on my phone or in letters and then gone back to it at a later stage and be like wow oh my gosh let's say you're really busy and you feel like you don't have the time you don't have to schedule the time out of your day whenever you feel that and you have your phone on you or you have a piece of paper on you just write something down quickly benefit number two is that you're still able to express yourself in any way that you want to so if you better express yourself in numbers you can still do that if you better express yourself in poetry if it's writing letters if it's just notes if it's drawing you can still do that so it still gives you the opportunity to express yourself the third benefit is that you are able to address them well the letters or the writings or the drawings to anyone or anything right so if you feel like you have a lot of pent-up energy towards someone or towards something you're able to still express yourself which is great because having a lot of pent-up energy inside of you actually causes animosity and it weighs you down so i feel like it really works well with just releasing a bunch of energy and you know when you think of something amazing just jot it down quickly because you never know when it will come in handy I have notes and notes and notes for days and letters Yo, and sometimes I go back to it and I'm just like, wow, this is what I prayed for in this time and it's come out and it's happening and 
it's just really amazing to see that my spirit can carry me so far when i'm in this present moment but like five months from now i read something and i'm just like wow my spirit knew five months ago tip number one is that date your letters and your notes right it's very important so that when you go back you're able to see okay well i wrote this on this day it becomes more significant i've seen for me to realize that i've this was a it's like a timestamp to see like how amazing i am it's like a timestamp. it shows you how amazing you actually your spirit actually is right and how far you've come how far you've grown as well so date your letters number two make sure that you sign your letters i feel like when i put a signature at the end of my letters or i on my phone i put amen i feel like it's declaring that it's happening it is so it's going to happen it's like a contract that this is going to happen right the third one is ensure that you store you store them right correctly so you're able to reflect on them on my phone i've got different categories for things maybe you want to have something like love money you want to have your future spouse on there kids have a compilation of all of your thoughts in one place it's just them building upon each other it also makes it easier for you to go back and reflect and also edit your thoughts because as you change your thoughts change what you want changes and you can just delete the things that don't serve you anymore you can burn the things that don't serve you anymore and it just shows you growth which reminds me when i talk about compilations is a wonderful friend of mine she wrote a compilation of letters and the book is going to be in the description box as well and it's a lovely read i will also leave a link to my blog i wrote a review about the book and the book is titled a compilation of letters to all the men who've touched and poor very amazing read check out the description for the link cool i also have a lovely box here it's a new balance box i've had it for some time i think i've had it for three years now i've had it for three years four years four years i've had it for four years and i just thought all of i mean it's a, it looks like a raggedy box right now but it has all of my letters in it and i mean that's kind of crap but it's got letters in it and prayers and everything and i just when i've written something on a piece of paper even if i've written it at work i put it in my bag and when i get home i put it in this box and then obviously i've said on my phone how i store all of my notes in categories in folders so that's another tip that you can try and i think it might work for you as well personalize it for you using something creative all right and those are all of my tips a little quick recap on the benefits one it is convenient you don't have to put aside the time to be able to reflect you write whenever you feel moved second one is that you can project your energy onto anything and anyone and get yourself to release some of that energy and not have it all pent up inside of you third benefit is that it increases your intuition because you're listening to that thought you're writing it down and therefore you're listening to yourself you know your higher self and also it raises your vibration and self-awareness when it comes to the tips remember to date your letters remember to sign your letters also remember to be creative because it adds a personal touch and that is all i have for you today and i really hope that these are going to help you many times we shy away from journaling or doing something because we are not able to be consistent with it but when you find a way that works for you that is more convenient for you just do it in the comment section i'd like you to share with me share with all of us what's something that you used to get into trouble for doing when you were younger that actually now works in your favor remember for me it was writing notes and i always used to get into trouble for it but now it's helping me to reflect conveniently so i'm going to be choosing one of the comments and then writing a letter to that person and also sending them a gift 
please do subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment down below to be able to win the giveaway all right thank you so much for watching i am mpomukwena this is big on healing and i'm sending you lots and lots and lots of love peace and prosperity your way so loosen up a little mama let your head down and take a course for good to fight your heel just put your back down then you get down then you get down yeah you get get